everybody, it's your girl Bunny. Burger King announces the Impossible Whopper. Is it all that it's cracked up to be? Is it worth the money? That's all coming up next. Impossible, 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 impossible. When I first saw the Burger King Impossible Whopper commercial, I thought, wow, how innovative and how much of a thought of taking a step forward and offering options to people who don't eat meat. Even though they are Burger King, you're getting a burger. I thought that was fair to say, you know what, let's try something new. I myself, I am not a meat eater, no chicken, no fish, no beef, no eggs, anything like that. I haven't eaten any meat since December 26, 2018. My ultimate goal is to become 100% vegan and I'm not categorized as a vegan because I still eat cheese from time to time so that doesn't count. So until I can wing off a lot of products that are made from meat products then I will categorize myself as being vegan but I'm not there yet. That's the ultimate goal. I thought it was pretty cool that they gave this option, so I said, let me give it a taste. I know it's categorized as fast food, but it's something quick and easy that maybe I can pick up one day that I didn't want to have to cook or get veggie patties from my local grocery store. Let's just give it a taste. So I knew going in what a veggie patty or something that's meatless, how it tastes. A fair warning to people who eat meat that it may be a little something you're not used to. So keep that in mind, the texture, the smell, um, just this, the fact that it's not placed in grease, which is not giving that fatty flavor that makes a burger a burger. So keep that in mind. The good thing about when you get this burger, it is a good portion size. It reminds you of a good Whopper and you know that you're getting a really good portion and you can get pretty full I had this burger and I stayed full for about four to five hours So that's the pros of this burger. It's very tasty and it is an option to eating meat or giving you idea of different tastes if you're thinking about slowly winging off of meat now the cons to this burger to me, I'm used to preparing veggie patties or buying them at the local grocery store, so the texture is different. To me, it tasted a little dry, <laughs> and um, it, it just it tasted a little different. It wasn't bad. It was a it was a really good burger, but it did not have. I think that it didn't have the seasonings. It was just felt like we just had just a basic impossible patty. There wasn't any particular seasonings or sauces that went with this burger, but it wasn't bad. I actually thought it was pretty good. So some of the other cons you have to think about, since this is a meatless product, and since they are getting it from the Impossible Company, that many Burger Kings have been reporting to run out. I mean, that's what used to happen in the day when they didn't mass produce meat. When they were out, they were out, that's it, come back tomorrow. So that can be another thing that could be a downside in making these Impossible Burgers is that when they run out, they run out, and that's all they're making money for, maybe a half of the day. The second thing is that there have been reports that they're grilling the meat patties on the same grill or flat surface as the Impossible Burger. So will that be an issue to people who are just like, I don't want any meat, I don't want it to be around any meat? And then thirdly, how are we getting a 100% guaranteed that no meat product is going to the Impossible Burger? There's still a lot of kinks here and there to work out with this new idea, but I do think it was a wake-up call to all of the other fast food corporations that, hey, we tried it, we're giving it a whirl to have um, an option of not having meat, how about you try? I have no doubt in my mind that other fast food chains 
will adapt to this. They could use different suppliers, such as Beyond Meat, um, other brands that maybe could give it a little bit more flavor, but you have to think about this as fast food. This is not uh, a genre of food that's made quickly that you can sit down and indulge. They can take 10 minutes or whatever the case may be to prepare your patty. So keep that in mind. Remember that the Impossible Burger is fast food. Fast food, very quickly, maybe the quality will not be the same. No, it does not taste <laughs> like a Whopper. I don't think anything will because you have the fats and the grease that makes a burger taste like a burger. But it is an option. It's not bad. It doesn't taste bad. But then again, to me, my palate has changed. I thought it was a little dry. Put some ketchup on there and that was about it i mean it tastes like a regular burger now if you go strictly from eating meat to this impossible burger you might not like it but give it a try uh, the cost is about five to six bucks i just got the burger and some water to drink and then later on i had a soda to kind of make it taste a little better make me have that feeling like i'm indulging in a burger but it's not bad you know i didn't i didn't feel I didn't feel like I was just blown away after I ate it. But then again, it's not bad. But then again, it's better than eating meat. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. Talk to you later. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Remember, I subscribe to whomever subscribes to me. And also follow me on Instagram. Same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Bye.